Hello and welcome to the Fairfield Equity Project. We are made up of the Fairfield Ward Voices for Equity, Youth for Equity, and the Fairfield Equity Coalition. Within this group, we hope to advocate for equity within the town of Fairfield and the surrounding area. By collaborating with YouTube videos, we can further emphasize our individual missions to form a common place and goal for everyone to further look and educate themselves on topics like race, equity, and more. But before we can dive into all the great things the Fairfield Equity Project has planned for the future, it's important to hear the different voices and missions of those who are behind it. Now we will hear from all our organizations and their goals. Hi, my name is Lanasia, and I am a part of the Fairfield Equity Coalition. Our organization is youth-led. Our goal is to push for equitable policy and curriculum changes within the Fairfield public school systems, as well as advocate for the injustices against marginalized population within our community. Hi. My name is Sarah Genovese and I am one of the Student Leads and Voices for Equity, a teacher and student-led organization at Fairfield Ward High School. Our mission is to promote practices that encourage students to use their voices to advocate for themselves as well as others. We encourage students to engage, recognize, and interrupt continuous inequities they may face within their communities as well as others. We also want to help students find their voices and identity to empower and elevate them to take action. While using your voice is sometimes scary, Voices for Equity provides a safe and judgmental free environment where we share our stories and ideas. Hi, I'm Andrew McInnes. I'm one of the student leads for Youth for Equity at Fairfield Ludlow High School, which consists of current students and some teachers. Our diverse group of students are active and engaged in the Ludlow community and beyond. Youth for Equity is a place where we learn about each other and connect with the community around us. We engage in a growth mindset and encourage failure as this is part of the learning process. Our goal is to educate and uplift others. We embrace challenges, learn from criticism, and find lessons and inspiration in the success of others. Together we are the Fearful Equity Project. We are so excited for what the future has in store for all of our organizations, including our town and the county of Fairfield. I'm fighting for equity because I believe no matter what your race, sexuality, gender is, that you deserve a fighting chance and equal opportunity as everyone else. I'm fighting for equity because no one should be perceived as less for the race, sexuality, gender, or any physical or mental attributes that they can't change. I'm fighting for equity because privilege has no place in public education. I'm fighting for equity because every student deserves to succeed in the classroom without being impeded by racial or other biases. I'm fighting for equity because too often, people are discriminated for the color of their skin, religion, race, sexual orientation, and gender. We're all human beings and we should be treated as equals however we're not. I think it's also important for people to realize that we should not be judging others based off of their appearance or the way they choose to express themselves. It's their lives and they should live it as they feel and not in fear of judgment, harassment, or even death. I'm fighting for equity because we all deserve a quality education. I'm fighting for equity because I'm tired of seeing my brothers and my sisters being mistreated and even killed sometimes for the color of their skin, which is something that they can't control. I'm fighting for equity because I want to stop this for good. I want everyone to be able to live the way they want to without judgment over something that they can't control. I'm fighting for equity because diversity makes the world a more interesting place. I am fighting for equity because there are real people who are being hurt or even killed for the color of their skin, for being female, for loving someone, or for being trans. I raise my voice for those who can't, and I fight to raise voices who aren't being heard. Everyone deserves an opportunity, no matter what they look like, and I fight for them to feel comfortable and loved. I stand with you, and I fight with you. I'm fighting for equity because I believe that everyone deserves a voice. I'm fighting for equity because a person's zip code should not determine their opportunities in life. I'm fighting for equity because I believe that everyone should be loved and accepted no matter their race, gender, or sexuality. And I want to be the person that people can go to when they're turned away from society and their loved ones. I'm fighting for equity because as humans we all deserve basic human rights as well as to be given equal opportunities to help us all be successful. Um, there's years of corruption within our different systems, such as education and our justice system that need to be altered to fit in to the modern day lifestyle, where it's accepting all different kinds of people from all different backgrounds and loving each other equally. 
Hi, I'm Sofia Delgadio and I fight for equity because I understand my privilege as a white person and with that privilege comes the duty to amplify the voices of the oppressed so that one day we can all have equal opportunities and be presented with the respect that everybody deserves. I'm fighting for equity because when it's not fair for everyone, it's not fair for anyone. I'm fighting for equity because everyone deserves a seat at the table. I'm fighting for equity because all voices should be heard. And as a mother and a teacher, I will not stop fighting until all of your voices are part of the story. Thanks to everyone involved in today's video. We're so excited for what the future holds for our YouTube channel. Stay tuned and subscribe for more videos from the Fearful Equity Project.